going ahead in life isn't all about studying and trying to reach this um, level of intelligence to commit to what you want to do in life. Uh, it's a factor of different things and I've achieved quite a lot in my life despite the setbacks that I've faced and I think a lot of people in this world are um, thinkers and not doers in the sense that people like to think about doing something but they won't actually commit to it and do it probably out of fear that they'll fail or they'll be judged for doing so and that's a topic for another video um, being judged and um, learning to be yourself as recently I've started to kind of draw back from um, bad influences and try to be more authentic to myself and just go go out and grab exactly what I want in life um, but you need to you need to have more you just need to have more experiences you need to go through rough patches you need to make mistakes in in any field that you want to get better in to improve your overall confidence and skill in any area you want and for the longest time I wanted to make this YouTube channel and I was putting it off for months and I was like what what do I what do I talk about what's the perfect camera angle what's the perfect lighting like what's the perfect microphone and I kept putting it off because I, I didn't think the content that I could produ produce or the the level of speech or words that came out of my mouth would be valuable valuable enough for anyone to care about and one day I just sat down in my car and recorded recorded a video and that's when my, that's when it first started taking off it got 100 views and 200 and I was like oh this actually might work and I was very lucky in, in that I was just given all this attention for a relatively low, low amount of work like I've seen YouTube channels that take like years before they can even get to my amount of subscribers and it just I'm just very grateful for the, for the opportunity I have and I'm not going to waste it but I, yeah it's just kind of like you need to s stick at it and you need to just go ahead and do it whether whether the what you're going to do might fail or it might be bad um, you're going to make you're going to make mistakes and you're going to learn from them like from starting this YouTube channel, I've learned a lot of things about content creation that I wouldn't have known if I hadn't just started. Like I know now what preferred editing software I like using. I know the camera angle that I like using, lighting, etc. I know that this mic is the best mic that I can get for the price, stuff like that. And the more mistakes you make and the more you learn from it, your brain will start to adapt and you'll start to get better one percent every day in whatever you want to practice so i suggest um if you want to get better at something just just practice it for 20 minutes a day and just make make mistakes and write down the mistakes that you make and even if it's just like even if you want to just practice like guitar like i, I practice guitar i play i try to play 20 minutes a day and I've, I've self-taught myself how to play to a, a decent level where I know how to play play songs and chords and verses and with um, you need to yeah and that's another thing as a, as a, as a university student I, I, I do not revise or study as much as I should do because I'm someone who prefers to do things hands-on. I'm a, I think it's called a kin kinesthetic learner or something like that. Um, I know there's, there's like three types of uh, preferred studying or like um, lesson absorption methods that uh, kids have or what people have actually. I remember there was a lady who came into my primary school once and she uh, tested us to see if we were audio, visual or kinesthetic learners and I was very kinesthetic which meant that I learned the most from doing things and for the longest time I tried to study, study using visual and audio and it never worked and once I started just going in there like um, head 
first and just making mistakes for myself and learning through my own my own problems and um, challenges that I faced I learned I learned things a lot quicker than just going down the traditional route of maybe following an audiobook or a YouTube tutorial um, so when, when I wanted to start coding I just started coding I, or like when I wanted to make a, a video game I start I started up a game engine I started creating video games and I, I just um, looked at problems as they arose instead of trying to practice and learn for making the game so I, I personally believe that for me personally that experience is a lot more valuable than pre-existing knowledge on the topic and I think that's what ultimately um, puts you ahead obviously don't neglect external studying for whatever you want to get better at just um, remember that you can't really find out what your strengths and weaknesses are if you don't actually go ahead and commit to what you want to do Another example um, is if, say you want to start working out for whatever reason, maybe you want to increase your strength and improve your looks, um, or maybe you just want to get fitter, increase your cardiovascular endurance, whatever the issue. Instead of putting it off and trying to find the perfect diet and the fitness regime, just get in the gym, push your body to its absolute limits, and well, not even push it to a limit, it's just get in the gym, try what you like, and just go from there, and build your build your routine and your diet off what you like doing, what you like cooking, and what brings you the most fun and is the most convenient. Don't, don't follow people's routines unless you're really, don't follow like, I don't know, don't, it's hard to say, but sometimes following other people's advice will never actually work for you because everyone's circumstances are different when i was trying to put on weight and bulk in my fitness journey i'll be looking up these guides on youtube of what to eat how many calories to eat a day what meals to eat and because like may, sometimes maybe they were american or they had a different budget to me the diet and the food would be all different or maybe the gym routine they suggested would be different because maybe their, their, their gym had a different machine or maybe they could work out for longer or harder or they had better form on an exercise. And eventually I just came around to creating my own routines and my own diets. And I, I, had, I had way more fun doing that because it's less restrictive and it seems less of a chore. When you make life less... When you make your activities and habits less of a chore, um, that's when you start to like really um, improve. As originally, I started the gym just because like I wanted confidence and to get bigger. But now, two years down the line, I'm still going to the gym every single day, and I just do it because it's fun it's just part of my life now it's a lifestyle it's not even a hobby or a chore anymore I, I just go I, I'm not too concerned about the progress as long as I'm not going backwards I'm not care I'm not really caring how much I um, progress as long as as long as I look good and I'm not going backwards I, I still love going to the gym every single day and it's one thing that will always stick with me and that's same with any hobby or any any sort of work you want to do um, I, I'm sure at, at, at the start now, I'm doing YouTube just to really get better at speaking. And I'm doing it because I want to get better, right? Not because I do find it fun, like a little bit, but it's mostly because I want to see where this will take me and I want to push myself. But I bet, like the gym, maybe one, two years down the line, I'll actually just find YouTube just fun and I won't do it purely because I want to see results I'll probably do it just because I, I like it and that will only come once I start making mistakes and prioritizing experience over learning just getting the videos out posting them and just doing it and 
we're, we're always distracted like the world's against us really like what we're, we're an attention economy like everyone's trying to steal our attention and keep us distracted from working on our goals but if you can um surpass that then you really become unstoppable in achieving your goals like i'm not i'm not the most disciplined person ever um i'm i'm kind of in a, a rut right now i'm kind of struggling but I, i'm the more pain and suffering you go through and the more you persevere the more the more scars like theoretical sc scars figurative scars that you that you um get on your on yourself in your mind in your body and the more the more you deal with is the stronger you'll come out of it the more you'll be able to cope with these situations in the future so that's in short my guide on how to get ahead and how to really stay stay focused and committed and consistent with what you want to do in life and what your current interest is so remember to just do it stop thinking about it get it done learn learn your mistakes and see if it's right for you so yeah thanks for watching and stay curious